All right, guys, what we have here is a Farmall H. I'm going to give you some tips on adjusting the carburetor. You get two adjustment screws that you're going to typically use when you're adjusting these, um, not counting your low idle. Base settings for these are a turn and a half out on this one, roughly two turns out on this one. That's where you want to start. So you'll adjust your air idle screw with the engine running and warmed up. Starting from your one and a half turn base, you're going to ease this out. You should get to a point where the RPMs start to pick up a little bit. When you go a little farther past that, the RPMs are going to drop back down again. So turn it back into the point where the RPMs are the highest. Sometimes it's useful to have a handheld tack like on the timing light and watch for a subtle change in RPMs on the tack. But you should be able to hear it as the RPMs increase uh, so that you know you're at the, the sweet spot for this one. The main load screw on the bottom, to adjust it, you'll have the engine again warmed up and running. You're going to accelerate, uh, pull the throttle back till you are at your full RPM. You're going to adjust this out from your base setting of two turns. You're going to turn it out until the engine either starts to load up through uh, black smoke in the exhaust or it starts to stumble and, and not be as smooth as it should be. When you get to that point, turn it back in just till it smooths back out and there's no um, smoke out of the exhaust. That's where you can leave it set. So now that we've adjusted it, we'll start it up so you can uh, hear what a properly tuned carburetor should sound like. So as you can hear, it's idling at around 450 RPMs. It's good smooth idle. The exhaust is clear. There's no gas leaking out of the carburetor. It indicates the flow is done right. I need a loud enough stuff. Everything's good in the carburetor. I'm going to bring the RPMs up so you can hear it as it accelerates. adjusted and even though mine doesn't leak when I'm leaving it setting I still like to shut the gas off just in case I don't like a tractor sitting around that can leak gas out in the garage or in a shed or something just to avoid that issue I go ahead and turn the gas off when I'm when I'm not using them if you all have any questions you can put them in the comments on how to adjust these carburetors they're not any more difficult than any other updraft carburetor on the farm on tractors but they can be a little finicky to find the sweet spot on your air idle and your main load screw. So, thanks for watching.